Hello guys, welcome to more Super Mario Bros. Wonder Nuzlocke. It's been a while since I done this. Last time we defeated World 2 Fluff Puff Peaks. Now we're gonna head into World 3. We only lost one character so far. I think it was Yellow Toad. So we're doing pretty good. Hopefully we keep keep up this good pace. I'm gonna check my my settings, see if everything's okay. Can you hear me? It seems like everything's working correctly. So we have to go through a couple levels before we get to World 3. Oh, we also agreed to not use any badges. Only in only if they're if it's a badge challenge. Here we go. Can use them in badge challenges. We cannot use them if outside of them and I completely forgot how to play this game to be honest it's been a couple I think like a month or two oh and I forgot oh that was close I forgot I put all the all the flowers are speaking Japanese now And even if we don't lose any lives in the in these badge challenges, like if you die, you still you won't lose a life. I will still count it. Like that was a good example. Yep. Feeling pretty rusty on this game. I wasn't expecting to get crushed right there. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So Daisy's gone. F Blue Toad is gonna be our next player character on the chopping block. It's kind of sad that I lost Daisy like that because. It's it's her first time appearing in a in a 2D Mario game, an important one. I guess it, she was in Super Mario Run, but I don't think anybody played that game. At least I didn't, because it was like a ten dollar game. And it wasn't very interesting, it was just like, uh, levels, you, like, like your character keeps running and that never stops. You have to like, tell them when to jump and stuff like that. I think this is where I died. It's pretty embarrassing to be honest. Shouldn't have died. I think I skipped one purple coin. But the goal of getting all the purple coins, it's far gone by now. We're not doing that anymore. Like my first thoughts were to collect everything in the game and try to beat the final more most difficult challenge in the game. But I don't think I can do that anymore. And now I have to defeat Wiggler without the dolphin badge. I think it's possible, but I don't know if it's gonna be hard or not. It's probably gonna be hard. Cause I 
not I hadn't practiced much. Okay, for some reason Wiggler decided to do a loopy loop there. That's gonna give us a little bit of advantage. That wasn't good for me. I need to stay out of the water if I want a chance of beating him. I never lost against Wiggler, so I, I don't even know what happens if you lose. Like, I've never seen a game over screen on losing against Wiggler. You have to really, really try to lose. Or maybe not use the Dolphin badge. Okay, yeah, see, I, 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 it is still pretty easy without any badge equipped. They made it pretty easy to beat him. I think he, he scales to your speed. So if you're going pretty fast, he will also go pretty fast. He will be like, because sometimes it looks like you beat him by, by like a, a second or two. But I think it's just because he rubber bands. He just keeps up with you. So we can do the downpour uproar level, but we can also skip it and go straight to to world three, which I think it's the optimal route. Like if this if we're doing a Nuzlocke and we don't we want to succeed, we want to do the least amount of levels possible. I think world 3 is pretty short. They say this game wasn't rushed at all. Like the developers had an unlimited time to finish this game. But it still feel, feels pretty rushed to me. Like they were still rushing to finish it. And you can tell because of world 3 and the lack of good bosses. And how short the game actually is. So here we get our free Wonder Seed, or Royal Seed, or whatever they're called. Kanbare! I don't know why, what, what the purpose of giving us free stuff is, like... Just don't have it in the game if it's they're just gonna hand it to us. So, yeah, to beat this um, world, you only need 10. Wonder Seeds, which is pretty low, pretty low amount, you can easily do that. Especially because there's one for sale in every single shop. You can just buy it, so now we just need 8. I hate these levels. We have Search Park. Hoppy Hoppy whatever. Um, angler fish trial. I think I think the lowest risk one here would be the search park, but I don't want to do that one. I'm I'm gonna go with the hoppy trial, hoppy cat trial. Every single level in this world is called a trial, even though they're just regular levels. This one can be pretty. D Pretty difficult because the these hoppy cats or whatever they're called they'll copy your jumps they'll jump whenever you jump I don't know if it'll be optimal to use the f can you kill them I don't know try yeah so they can die to fire Which makes them a oh, freak yeah I wasn't expecting that to be honest which maybe I should have expected it because it was covered by blocks. Yeah, I'm 
pretty terrible at timing these. Okay. I think the best strategy is not to jump. Because the more you jump, the more enemies are going to be in your way. But it's kind of hard. Because you're... You know, it's a Mario game. You want to keep jumping everywhere. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Okay. okay I know that was gonna happen. It's not fun. You know, I don't like the surprise element. What hat? Oh, okay, now there's giant hoppy cats. Break the wall and the ceiling. Just have to be very careful. Okay, here we want it. Want him to break it. Okay, keep jumping. Okay, there's the... Just have to get under him. Do these drops hurt me? It doesn't look like it. It's just aesthetic. Okay, this is kind of tricky. You have to use the... The hoppy cats as... Platforms to reach the post, but it's kind of hard. Maybe if I just use the bubble, it'd be easier. Yeah. Okay, we succeeded on the first level. Well, I guess the first, this is not the first level we did, but first level of this world. We have a secret. So many spiky spikes, yet so little fear. You possess great courage. Poof. Unreached treasure. So it's kind of a gimmick. We just have to find hidden blocks. Maybe you can just reach with the bubble power up. You don't have to. No, that was that was not hard at all. Okay, let's go for badge challenge which is I think it's required since it's guarded by a piranha plant okay one moment crouching high jump one difficulty one star so we shouldn't have any problems I wish they could have done more with the badges. They feel like the levels aren't designed around the badges enough to make them required. Because even like right now, I'm doing a badgeless Nuzlocke, and it's still pretty easy with all the badges. Because I feel like there's only two that are pretty re reliable. That's probably the cap and the uh, spin jump. Those are the only ones worth 
having, in my opinion. And when, and of course, the dolphin kick when you're underwater. But other than that, like, you don't really need any badge to complete the game. Which can be good, and it, but at the same time, it makes it, like, what's the point of them? They could have make them feel more useful. I don't want to wear any badge because it's Florian. I wish we could, like, tell him not to remind you ever again. Hop to it. I'm kind of nervous of having you, of doing levels that have endless pits. Because I feel like that's the only way I, well, that and getting squished are the only things that really kill you in this game. Because you can get hit by enemies, but as long as you don't suck at the game, you'll be fine. Because the game provides you with enough power-ups. To the point where you don't really have to worry about getting hit. Oh, did I skip it? No, I did not. This is optional. Why didn't, didn't you jump? Jump! Okay. Of course we get more. And then using our road. That was kind of scary, but I made it. Just have to keep, stay calm. Kill that poppy cat that had the wonder flower. And we become a hoppy cat ourselves. We also have a time limit, but it's very high, so I, don't, I think we'll be fine. We don't have to worry about running out of time. It's kind of satisfying to kill all the, all the enemies in a row. Yeah, that one, that one was pretty cool. Pretty easy, though everything in this game. What? Sometimes forget they're speaking Japanese and I'm like, what did they say? It's fucking hot. I'm just gonna bobble. Okay. That did not work as I want. Like I wanted. I guess I'll make it. There we go. Yeah, Bobble is kind of broken. When you first get this, okay, now I, I could have reached the top. Um, when you first get this power up, it feels useless. Like, oh, you just get bubbles and they slowly go towards enemies. But once you realize you can hop on them and you can skip like most of the levels with the bubbles. You, you realize how good it is. Like if you watch the speed run of this game, they'll just bubble all the way through the level. It's pretty f fun to watch. It will be fun to do, but I'm also I'm not the most, the most skilled player. Okay, here we have this one, this level that looks kind of difficult. And we also have this level, which has three stars, but I think it's easy. Like, it should be one star, if I remember correctly. Because, you'll see in a minute. You have these new enemies called the sugar crystals or something. And... 
They're kind of cool, but then you get the power, the power up. I mean the wonder flower, and you just you just cruise through the level. So I don't know why this one's labeled as a three star. I guess you can um, fall into the pit, but it, I mean if you're careful, you should be fine. Yep, yeah, that's it. Like, and the level's over. How is that a three star? I guess it could be kind of difficult if you don't grab the Wonder Flower because it will give you the uh, power stars. But if you're playing this game for 100%, you want to grab every every Wonder Seed. If you want to play fast, you also want that Wonder Seed because it makes it a level easy. Yeah, this world is pretty much over. We only been playing for 20 minutes and we're already done. Timer, switch dash. Oh, uh, you know I shouldn't have chosen this one because it seems kind of hard. I mean, maybe if I take it slowly, I won't be so bad. Because you can, you can reset this pretty easily. Yeah, you can just keep hitting the same one over. It'll be harder if, if the blocks will, would disappear. Like you couldn't hit them more than once. But since you can keep keep hitting it over and over, there's no challenge. I hope this gives me something good because it, it's very annoying to keep following this flower or this bulb or whatever it is. It was just coins. See, sometimes. They just make you waste time. That was a waste of time. This is kind of a troll move. They put a lot of hidden blocks there, so you have to go all the way around. I'm also playing with um, my Joy Cons, which is not the best way of playing this game because it feels kind of weird. I'll rather be playing with a controller. And I do have a controller, but it ha it ran out of battery, so I don't feel like charging it. That's all. So I'm making my life harder just because I'm lazy. And then is this the last one or this? Yeah, I think this is the final level. And then you just get the little power seed at the end. Zip track. Okay, this one can be easy to die. Just have to pay attention. Not get hit. And not fall off. Turn into a hoppy cat again. I think if we just followed up, we died. Did we? <gasps> no, nope, we somehow fell into another platform. I thought we were dead. I mean, is this death? No, we're good. Yeah, this level is kind of confusing. I like. 
I guess we didn't get the good ending. Because we fell off. So we might have to redo this one. Unless the game lets us continue. But I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to let... Yeah, it looks like you didn't manage to get through the final trial. Only those who find the true end point will obtain the royal seed. Use this one of mushroom. Thank you, but one of mushrooms are useless. This is a nice luck. We cannot afford to die. Okay, I'm just gonna use my power up just in case we get hit along the way and try not to die this time. And we barely missed that jump. It was like for... We were like an inch away. Concentrate this time. I don't want to miss. Go, 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 go. Okay, it was pretty easy. I don't know why I missed up last time. It's just unfortunate timing. I barely missed the tippy top. I think we're crushing it. We're gonna, we're doing pretty well in this nice lock. We only lost two characters. One of them didn't really deserve to die. That was Daisy. She just died. Because I was, I wasn't paying a lot of attention to the level. She should have been alive, and it's a shame. So this world doesn't even have a boss battle. We just get it, get the wonder seed for defeating all the trials. Which is kind of cheap. I feel like they should put the Koopalines in this game. I really like this game, but I feel like... I feel like I would like Super Mario World a bit more. I recently replayed that game and it, feel, it felt more like a challenge. It was still... You know, pretty much, it was easy f for me because... Because I'm... I play that game a lot, so I know every secret. But some of the secrets are very well hidden. Like you'll have to try very hard and s search very thoroughly to find everything in that game. And I remember I was playing it as a kid. You, I felt pretty good when you find something new because I didn't have internet back then. So I couldn't just look up where, where everything was. Just have to um, keep playing. Keep searching. And that kind of experience is kind of gone now. Because I feel like everyone... When they get lost in a game, they immediately go to the, to the internet and search where to go. And where all the secrets are and where everything is kind of because it kind of loses the experience a bit and I don't th I think the only time I needed a guide for this game was for search parties because those were stupid and I couldn't find the hidden blocks Okay, so we reached at this part in the, 
is where we can choose which world we want to go first. We can go to world 4, 5, or 6 in any order we want. We just have to unlock them first. The easiest one is going to be obviously world 4. So I think I still think I'm going to go in order. But it's kind of cool that they give you the option to branch out. It makes you it makes um like if you don't like one level, you can just back out and do another one in a different world. Which is kind of neat. I don't know if I should keep playing or should just stop here. Because well, we already defeated one world. So this is going to be the end of it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next part of Super Mario Bros. Wonder Nuzlocke. See you soon.